With a deadline looming for an upcoming gallery show, Enrique is rushing to finish his latest series of prints, which includes St. George and the Dragon. Oh, hey, David. Hey, David. <laughs> How are you? Hi. He's working with master printmaker David Salgado, who is showing him a new printing so, method. What's happening here is, um, so this is regular arch, and it's sprayed mm -hmm. with workable fixative. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. It's sort of sealed. And because it's sealed, um, anything you paint on there won't sink into the paper. Oh, and that's so, why we just, you would right. transfer. So this is essentially the plate the now. Plate. Great. That's the idea. Printmaking has long been the choice of political artists and propagandists, allowing them to duplicate their work at a fraction of the cost of the original. While many artists treat printmaking as a second cousin to the fine arts, for Enrique, the opposite is true. Enrique has never thought that printmaking is some sort of a minor art. He's always thought of it as a way of, of making art that uh, would allow him, because it's a multiple original, to spread the word, so to speak. Today, they will attempt to make five prints. The process is labor-intensive. A variety of inks must be mixed to achieve the exact shade Enrique is going for. Then applied to the paper with an even stroke. And then transferred to the press's blue rolling blanket, which retains the ink from Enrique's original. Next, David carefully lines up the first print to receive the color transfer. One of these prints may go through the press 50 times. There's no preconceived idea of what it's supposed to look like, so we can just keep working until, keep painting and printing until, until it looks right. What I'm thinking of doing is just splashing solvent on the whole background. One of the greatest things of this technique is, is that it's very forgiven. And it's not that you make a mistake, it's a process where you go back and forth, you change things that you don't want and add things that you hope to get and you never know what you're gonna get. So it's still an adventure. All right. The mouth to mouth resuscitation. <laughs> I think in terms of opposites that might balance each other. Philosophers might call it like a dialectical interaction that creates a third element in people's minds. And that might create a short circuit in the minds of the spectators. And that hopefully could trigger some laughter. And when that happens, I feel totally accomplished. That's fine. Actually, I really like it.